zero. Good morning, SMF MMTs. It's time that we do one thing. We're going to take a look in your SMF platform is that on Monday morning, we're going to take a look at where that S&P is. And it's overbought. It's 310.87 up 3.770.29%. One of the things that we're going to be monitoring is that we close at 310.87. The full delta movement up that we're going to be looking at is what happens when we get to one and a half deltas up. That's going to be 1324 on the S&P. Two full deltas up is going to be 1329 on the S&P. And two and a half deltas up is 1334 on the S&P. Okay. So basically, when we look down in our platform toward the negative side of our ratios, if I'm two and a half deltas down, that means that that's that 1287 handle right here on that S&P. That 1292 handle on the S&P and one and a half deltas down would be below the 1300 at 1296. And a full delta down from the current close price as a full delta is 1301 on a one full delta down to see if that 1300 handle will hold support. So MMTs, we can understand in our platform by looking up two and a half deltas, just as looking down here at support at two and a half deltas. Okay, then we can see where the near term is at one full delta 1320 and one full delta in our platform down here is going to be 1301. Now having said all of that, what we are going to take a look at is this part of the last part of the one day, two day, three day, four day, five day movement. And one of the things about it on Friday is nonetheless that the S&P on the closing bar right here, half of that bar right down here, let me take the brain out of the way, half of the bar MMTs, you can see it down here. Let me bring this up a little bit for you. 1306.34 is half of the last daily bar. A support level at the half bar with the big buy and some movement in the S&P would take us up to the higher handles in the S&P. Now, on the other hand, if we close below 1306, right here where my pointer is, 1306.34, well, a close below that would mean that there would be weakness in the S&P. The previous daily bar, just like right here, this, this bar right here, this bar is 1301.72. So I'm going to move the big brain out of the way for a minute, and I'm going to populate the diamonds. You can see the gauges moving here. Look at that. That's what happens during the day. And I want everyone to know <clears throat> that the upper end of the S&P is where it's going to be. And it's going to take a lot of money. It's going to take a lot of participation from the financials to get it over there. So support one in the near term is 1306.34. The second leg handle right here, this particular bar right here in your info panel is half bars. This is the half bar at 1301.72. Now, the last bar that's going to be important is this half bar here. And I'm going to take a look at this half bar. This is that daily movement that moved up a half delta, half delta, half delta. What a nice breakout to that counter trend that we talked about that that would be that one week at 1302. We came right down here, hit that 1278, and made another higher cycle. Now, part of this S&P move of that big move right here. Notice that this was on 2-1. It's a daily chart. Now, if we take a look at this day over here, that's 2-3. Here is 2-2 two, two at 13.05 as well down here. But when we had the counter trend, we were below half bar of 12.88. It's when we came back up here on this day on 12-1. We started the new month out. And they came back in a big way. They gapped it up, and it was a runaway. And it went up one, two, three, four lines, four half deltas at six dollars and eighty-eight cents a line. Now, having said all of that, when we go back over here to the brain, 
outside of your daily half bars is these deltas and I can tell you right now that 1320 is going to be a, an area and that 1324 and 29 we know what the upper side of the resistances are so we're really going to pay attention to the half bar write it down MMT 1306 support one support two of the half action bar 130172 the big breakout daily bar that happened on 2 1 of 2010 at 1200 uh, Pacific Standard Time was 1299.00 and that was on so this is going to be support number three if we start closing below it then the S&P closed very strong at 100% IR and basically the stuff in here is not you know populating right now it will during live market hours so that's the support level on the S&P the resistance levels once again I will tell you what the resistance levels are that's going to be that 1320 uh, one a half delta above it a one and a half is thirteen twenty four a two full is thirteen twenty nine and a two and a half now up on the upper end there that's what we're looking at and that's going to be a big area at thirteen thirty four okay so here we are going up and here we are in the same reverse table going down but nonetheless in the daily action for the MMTs is to pay attention support one support two support three I gave out the numbers and we're extremely overbought most of the earnings seasons out of the way now so that's the S&P 500 and the momentum of the S&P 500 is going to continue that on every little pullback that bull has stepped in just like we said and there's that five-day price action so we're overbought but just remember we can go up and a half delta dollar movement is 6.88 per line come Monday morning and that concludes the S&P 500 in its overbought stage but what those support levels are just like you see these long wicks come down but notice how the body closes above the half bar here notice how this body's above that half bar notice how the last daily movements above this half that's called a nice move up and notice that each time the wick hits that half delta line right to the penny it bounces and gets back above the previous half days bar well this previous half days bar is 30172 and the closing on the S&P is 310.87 so we've got a 9.9 ratio above that last half bar that relative equals momentum strength and that the elevation in the brain here and all of the things that you learn on are elevated which means that that's why the pullbacks are bouncing S&P 500 will be looking at the call options and the put options will be looking at both bull S&P 500 bear S&P 500 this is the daily five-day breakout and I've already given the MMTs the upper end of resistance and support